Sorry, I got cut off there. So we can see that we are currently in the trade simulator over here that is enabled. And at the top here, it says simulated trading. So if I go to home, I'm going to be looking at a simulated trading based on the profile that I have set up. And I can see that it's made 0 0.2 uh, minus 0.26% loss at the moment. I'm not worried about that at all. Um, whoa, what's happening over here? It shows very big fluctuations. Anyway, I'm not worried about that at all. What I want to show you how to set up is the, uh, I believe the portfolios. Ah, there we go. The currencies. Okay. So the currencies are very important. What I want to do is I've got Bitcoin set up as my default over here. If I go into my trading, I can see that my reference market is USD Tether. I don't want that. I want that to be set as BTC. And my risk over here is a another example of what I'm looking at. Sorry, that was just the copy that was happening. So risk at 0 0.5 is neither here nor there. It's pretty much medium risk. Do I want it to be a lot or a little? Uh, zero. Uh, so I think one is full risk. It'll risk your whole portfolio um, going all in trades. And 0 0.1 is very, very conservative. I currently have mine set up somewhere between 0 0.8 and, and 0 0.7, uh, depending on how I'm feeling. So I want to set that. I'll leave that at 0 0.5 and I'll tick that. The reason I have my reference market as Bitcoin is because I want my money to grow in Bitcoin. I'm not too worried about my money growing in USD Tether or growing in RANDs or anything. I want the amount of Bitcoin that I have to grow. So I've set my reference market up as BTC. I will save and restart later. And then I'll go to my exchanges. Okay, cool. That's got Binance is enabled, but it's sandbox as we saw. My currencies, haha. So I want to remove that as a currency and I want ETH BTC. So I want it to trade back and forth between Ethereum and Bitcoin in order to grow the amount of Bitcoin that I have. Because I know that Ethereum's going up. So I can save that and restart later. What I want to do as well is I'm going to, oh, it's, I, I don't want that 0 0.1 coin. I don't know what that is. Okay. I want to find uh, Ethereum. There we go. ETH, add. So now I want to, I want it to be able to have Ethereum as a reference coin and Bitcoin as a reference coin. So, I'm not too worried if it's holding most of my money in Bitcoin or most of my money in Ethereum. It can trade back and forth as it wants so long as it grows my Bitcoin value. So that long term, it can trade back and forth and almost do this ping pong effect to create more momentum. Okay, so I've set that up very nice, very straightforward. I've set up my strategy, my dip analyzer. We went over that in a previous video. I think it was number four or five. I've gone over my trading. My reference market is BTC. So now I can save and restart. And the last thing I'm going to do after I've restarted, I can refresh my page. There we go. It wants me to log in again. And the last thing I will do is I will go to, what was that, my trading, and I would change it from trading simulator over to live trader.